hello everyone so today in this uh, portal system we are going to work on this character mesh now as you can see we uh, we have a character mesh visible from the portal so earlier we only had two hands because we were using the first person template character uh, that comes with unreal engine but now here you have this full body of the character so when we see ourselves from the mirror we can see just properly so yeah that's this is the feature we are going to work on today and you can also see as i look up and look down as the gun moves up and moves down hand location now also changing correctly to match the position the player character is holding the gun so yeah let's see how to implement this today I'd like to remind you that you can download all these project files, not just this project, all the projects that I have downloaded uh, covered in my channel. To the date, there are over 1600 or 700 something videos and you can download the projects of all those projects. So I'll leave the link in the description. Feel free to check it out. That would help me to continue what I do. So in the current status of this uh, portal system, when we go in front of a portal and when we are visible from the other portal like this, we only see the gun. But what we want is to see the full body because this doesn't look good. And also in a multiplayer setting, we would need the third person uh, body uh, when we see a character in third person view we should see the body as well uh, by that i mean not the third person camera when another player see another player we should see a body not just a flying gun so that's what we are going to work on now so first we need a body for that i'll import the third person template so that we can use this third person mesh right now under characters and mannequins and meshes we have this skm mani so we need to first open the first person character right and then uh here we already have this mesh but nothing is in there so i'll add skm many and to match this i rotate this 90 degrees and move it forward a little bit let me go to the front view okay right view okay right now um here we already have an animation blueprint here abp many i'll assign this so then when I play the game, see, we already have a moving character, but it's not holding the gun. The character is not holding the gun. We will fix that now. So for that, let me open the animation blueprint. And here in the anim graph, I'll add a toolborn IK. So we are going to modify the location of hands to make it look like holding the guns. So if I connect it, it's converted to local to component space and component to local when we output connect it to the result. So now I'll choose the IK bone 
as uh, so let's start with the left hand so handle right now here we can see so this is the effect that means this will define the location of the hand should move like this and if I enable this maintain effect relative rotation it rotates the hand like this this may not look like holding but let's see how it turns out and this one is the target so this defines the direction when the bend happens it should be targeted so here you can see as I move this the bend here points to that position so I'll use a position like this so I think it looks correct okay all right and uh, I'll do the same thing to the other hand also that means the right hand here I choose and R no not IK handler, handler. Right. So target should be here. No, effect should be here. Target should be somewhere like this. Okay. Should be fine. right now if I try this I would see a hand in front of the character but it's like this but it's not moving up and down as we look up and down with the gun so we need to move the hand that means we need to bind this effector location to the location where the hand should be on the gun so here in this character we already have this first person hands so i'll make it uh, invisible or oh, i can make it invisible but for now i'll leave it visible and here i'll add the same component under this first person mesh yeah and as the parent socket I'll choose hand L I'll name this um C L no H L yeah, I'll just call it HR and duplicate HR. This should be attached to hand R. Okay. Now you can see hand L is here, hand R is here. In here, in the event graph, so we do, uh, we cast this only an actor to a character now instead of that I'll cast this to a PP first person character so that we can access those specific points as well and I'll change this character to a PP first person character 
save everything just in case it crash no crashes cool sometimes it crashes 5.3 when i work with uh, skeletal meshes for some reason now here i'll add another pin oh we need to connect it then here mm -hmm. i'll get the character reference and get hl here so we can access get the uh, get world location of this component for both hl and rl so hr No, not set get <laughs> okay so uh, if I go back to the anim graph and here I'll promote this handle effect to a variable I'll call it HL effect and this one HR effect okay so then uh, and the event graph I think it would be better to e e even though we have a valid reference to the character I think sometimes we get none access none errors for some reason but yeah let's see set effect HR HL Now let's see what happens. Say no. It doesn't look right. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah, this is what I said. Even though we have a valid character reference, sometimes we don't have valid references to these components, so it's better to do a validity check. Okay, I hope if I do for one other one also will be available valid, but if not, I'll do another valid check for that too but for the location here effect a location and space select both i'll choose world space because we are getting the world space location all right let's test now here it's working but Yeah, it is working, the system is working, but it doesn't look very good. If I look up, there is no bend in the hand, but that's because the gun is big. Mm, so, what if I... Make the mesh a little bit bigger. And move 
it forward a little bit yeah now it's not um like the hand is not straight like before but yeah but i think we can still adjust the hand location a little bit because it's not exactly placed on the gun So maybe we can add some offset. better yeah and uh, we already don't see the first hand in the mirror but I can see it from the camera so I'll make the first person mesh hidden in game So, yeah. Oh, one more issue. Even when we move backward, character's footwork is wrong. But See, it looks like it's moving forward. But I will look into that in the next episode. For now, I think it's a, uh, it's better to stop here. Okay. As always, updated project files will be available for you to download in the veteran page. I'll leave the link in the description below and see you in another episode. Goodbye.